Never Stop Learning, week 297. We're going to take a quick look at Vanishing Point Filter Mockups in Adobe Photoshop CC 2017. All right, so I'm going to be using the Vanishing Point Filter to mock up this artwork onto a template of a CD case. All right, over here in the Layers panel, down on the bottom right, I'm going to click on this icon to create a new blank layer. With that layer activated, I'm going to go into the filter menu at the top, scroll through to find vanishing point. Notice there's a keyboard shortcut of command option V. If you're using a PC, it's going to be control alt V. Clicking on that once is going to bring up the vanishing point filter. Notice it takes over your entire screen and that's so you can focus in on your perspective plane. Over here on the left in the tools panel, we already have a tool activated and that's the create plane tool. Over here across the top, it actually shows you how to use these tools. So currently it says, click the four corners of a perspective plane or object in the image to create an editing plane. Tear off perpendicular planes from the stretch nodes of existing planes. So I'm gonna walk you through that next. All right, first I wanna create my four corners I'll start on the bottom left. Click, that's one, two, three, and I'll come down here at the bottom for number four. All right, I'm gonna hover over this node here, and at the top it says, click and drag to resize the plane. All right, so I'm gonna click and drag, and we're able to resize this. And that's gonna work on any of these nodes you see over here along the edge. All right, I'm gonna undo that. Go back to the node. Now it says command drag to create a perpendicular plane. And that's exactly what I need to create this corner. So I'm gonna hold down the command key. Notice my cursor changes. I'm gonna click and drag and then release. All right, I'm gonna do that again. Command, click and drag. Now if you're using a PC, it's gonna be control, click and drag. All right, for this final one, I didn't need a perpendicular plane. I actually needed to open up a bit more. So I'll go back to my node, and over here at the end it says, option drag to rotate the connection between this plane and its parent. All right, so I'm gonna hold down the option key on a Mac, Alt on a PC, then click and drag. And that's gonna give me this uh, swinging door action here. All right, I'll come over here, that looks pretty good right there. All right, make a slight adjustment. And then over here on the top right, I'm gonna click OK. All right, so visually, there's no change. All we did was set up our perspective plane. All right, now I wanna grab the artwork. Over here, I'm gonna turn on layer two, activate it, command click on the thumbnail. That's gonna load a selection of all the pixels in that layer. All right, I'm gonna hit command C to copy those pixels onto my clipboard. I no longer need that selection, so I'm gonna hit Command D to deselect. Back in the Layers panel, I'm gonna turn off this artwork layer so that I'm able to see my template. I wanna make sure that my blank layer is activated so I don't make any changes to my template or my artwork. All right, now I wanna go back into the Vanishing Point filter. So I'm gonna hit Command Option V, and we still have our grid here waiting for us. All right, so I'm gonna hit Command V, to paste in the artwork. Now I'm gonna click and drag. Once I go into the plane, so does the artwork. All right, I wanna make sure that I have one of these corners visible so that I could go into the tools panel over here on the left and choose the transform tool. All right, I'm gonna grab this corner, click and drag. At the top it says that if I hold down the shift key, it's gonna constrain the aspect ratio. All right, I'll grab this guy, bring it over. I wanna make sure I could see all the artwork first. So I'm gonna make it a lot smaller. There we go, that looks good. And then I'll just reposition it here. All right, I could go up in size, so click and drag. There we go. Let's get it back to the right spot. That looks good. And now I'm just gonna stretch out these edges to make sure it fits my template. There we go. I'll click OK to accept that change. And that looks pretty good. I could see some areas that I need to refine, but I just wanted to walk through those steps quickly to show you what it's all about. Also, I wanna give a big shout out and thank you to Mr. Carlos Garro. Thanks for walking me through this process and helping me out with the artwork. I really appreciate it.
And there you have it, folks. That's a quick look at Vanishing Point Filter Mockups in Adobe Photoshop CC 2017.